to another edition of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. I am Matt Zion, along with Mr. T. Okay. No, uh, close. You like T. You're the only, you're probably the only person on our cast that likes T. No, and that's a man. And Lori. Oh. That's a man. Lori's not a man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's a JJ. But like, pretty much almost all the guys are not big you, tea guys. You, so that's why I, I grabbed this product out here. Actually, when it comes to tea, I like my tea black and unsweetened. Like, are you telling her and not the camera? Well, okay, she's right there. She has a pretty face, and I'm like, I'm <laughs> <It's> <laughs> One of the videos we just posted, uh, it was one of the alcoholics in Popotamus, and, uh, and Chuck, I guess, the entire episode is just making faces at the camera, and none of us <laughs> noticed it. Like, we're all doing the review, and he's just like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is this is a return. We've done this in the past. I wasn't a big fan of the product, but we're gonna give it a try. It's a different flavor. It's twisted tea, hard iced tea, mango. 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 Do you remember an SNL mango? Oh, Chris Kattan. No. The one time I was ever funny was when uh, Rock Dwayne Johnson did uh, did mangoes like was it his cousin? It was just Rock dressed like mango. But, but, oh wait, when I was the trip, the chip wasn't it? Yeah, it was the monkey. Which one was mango? Was that the really great answer? Yeah, Chris Kattan. Oh, yes. That's how fun dango. No, that's stupid. Mango. <laughs> so, and what's the other thing that we got here? It'll help us for after we're done drinking that. Whoa, she's pretty cute. <laughs> Hello. Oh, her name is Jen from New Jersey. <laughs> All right, so what we've got for when we're done after we drank is Resurrect 2 Daily Detox and Recovery Drink. All right, let me tell you, people. When it comes to recovering after having an alcohol binge the There's night before, no, nothing will help. No, no, we do this in Vegas. This is how it helps. You go to freaking Panda Express, <laughs> yeah. you get a chew meat combo, yeah. and you get a soda. Yeah. And then right before you go to bed, you down some water. It's actually, eating actually doesn't help any recovery at all. It's drinking. It's, it's flushing it out of your body. So the, the fried, more you pee, the... The fried rice, the orange chicken, and the honey water shrimp, which is a dollar extra. Honey water shrimp's worth it. It's good. Helps sure. out. So you don't get a hangover. Every time my mom gets uh, Panda Express, she always gets a double order of the honey water shrimp. Ooh, we should go to Panda Inn. We can, get like a, we can get like two pounds of it for like 18 bucks. I don't know about that. What, 18 bucks? No, the smell uh, of this. It's mango. Dude, yeah. I, hate, I hate flavored tea. Yeah, I'm not a big fan either. Especially the alcoholic tea, I've never really understood. Oh, this is alcohol. God dang yeah, it. It's, like it's like a Long Island iced tea. Yeah, it's 5% alcohol. I like Long Island uh, iced teas though. I like know. in Vegas, they make them great because they're so strong, you don't even know what the hell you're drinking. No, I just like beer. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, it's not too bad, actually. Wow. That's gross. I think the regular version without the flavor is better because that's what one we, we tried before. No, what I like about this is that it is an alcoholic beverage, but you can't. it doesn't give you that like, strong alcoholic malt taste. Oh. You can actually taste the real tea, and the mango is not that strong, so it doesn't overpower the actual tea itself. It gives it that right sweetness where it's not too sweet. It just tastes like something's Definitely. wrong with it. Well, it's because it's healthy, you idiot. This is not healthy. <laughs> it's not absolutely vile, so I give it a two. It's uh, definitely I'm already drunk, I can drink it type thing, but I wouldn't want this if I was sober. I'd definitely give this a three. You know, it's something, if this was the really the only alcohol I could, like, you know, purchase, other than, you know, if there was a whole bunch of earthquakes and shit, I'd purchase this. So, uh, you should tell him what your uh, sister got, because she's in, she was in Vegas this past oh, weekend. she got a yard of Jack and Coke. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Gross. Wouldn't that just be it for you? Like, how much does that cost? That's gonna uh, cost it, a It's ton. forty bucks, thirty-five to forty bucks for the yard. Um, but when I when I went there, I got a um, I got ten shots of one fifty-one and mixed in my drink. I don't remember drinking it all because I just don't remember that night anymore. I just remember getting a Facebook message from a, a high school um, classmate that I haven't seen for ten like about eight years, seven years, and saying, "Oh man, it was nice to see you." It's like I don't remember seeing you. Oh, what? Smell it. The f <laughs> it smells like dried piss. It does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> like when your animal pees on the driveway yeah. and you're like, oh, I gotta clean no, no, no. Oh, it up. It's like if somebody pissed on the couch and it was there for three oh, days of oh. ferment, this is it right here. This is what you ring from the couch. <laughs> oh, that smells the worst. How the f do you say resurrect? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna kill us. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, like, that is, that smells off. I hope it just smells bad but tastes good because we've had that happen before. Yes, all right. All right. Resurrect. Oh, oh, oh! There's oh, there's a pee aftertaste. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. I don't even think I can finish that. That's disgusting. 
Actually, it's not too bad. That is. There's little things floating in it. Uh, those are called bubbles, you idiot. I don't know. I see other things. I'm really gross. It's the herbs, actually. There's probably there's herbal shit here. Oh. Um, for me, it tastes like it, it smells like dried up piss, but I get like this banana flavor to it. It's just really sweet, but it's yeah, it's got that oh. dried piss smell. You know why? It's the ginger root. It's really not good. I don't like yeah. it at all. I couldn't. And it's it's, it's survival. It's one out of five. That'd be pancakes for me. I couldn't um, do it otherwise. To be honest with you. If you want to recover from, you know, having a hangover, um, don't, don't get this. this. <laughs> I'd probably say a Red Bull and a bottle of water would probably do the same. Yeah. I would definitely, I would have to give this like a, uh, a two. It's not really too bad tasting, but it's just not appetizing. I think if I, if I had a really bad hangover and having that taste would make me nauseous. Not good. So right now it's about a three, but having a hangover, a two. I know I'm not gonna like this. Something I would just throw away. All right, well there you go. A Rock is on his way with uh, somebody called Justin. Is there like he looks like Scott Bayo? Yeah, I saw. I, <laughs> I, actually, I saw Justin driving up, and I was like, and I saw him like being really sad and confused. But he was going down. I was coming up, Aww. and I texted him, like, "Hey, what's wrong, buddy? You okay?" He's like, "Huh? I saw you, bud. Huh? <laughs> Scott Bayo. Yeah. Scott Bayo. All right, well definitely avoid uh, yeah, no, the resurrect. Not, not in charge. It's gross. I think if you're tea, obviously if you like tea, you'll probably like the the mango twisted tea. I probably I would definitely recommend this for people who like Long Island iced teas because this one here, the malt in it is not ridiculously strong like in a four loco or earthquake. Oh, I need that malt though. So Damn. there you go, guys. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Wee Shorts. As always, we'll see you tomorrow.